Best stories, uh. Neil? <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to bring us so we have stories uh, up? Go! Oh, we're on! We're oh, live! We're on. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> well, we were talking about other stuff there. Hey, Neil, guess what? What? We're going to talk about sex tonight. <gasps> Have we ever talked about sex before the show? Um, yes. Was the last time we talked about yes. Um, yes, yes. We, April and Amy from the Shameless Sex Podcast, which is on every platform, right, ladies? Uh, every every, single every single platform. One. They're professionals, Neil. Well, that's what we need to have, though. Professionals? professionals. Yes, because yeah. you, you and I hack this like it's terrible. No amateurs. Yeah, no, we, we got I, pros. We got pros. And like, we're going to discuss your love life. No, we're not. For sure. <laughs> I think we are. Uh, Let's crack open the safe. And uh, and we Let's need to uh, give you some tips, performance tips. What kind of tips? We're going to find out. We're going to see not how we can make my your... Love, my love life is non-existent. That is not true. Uh, <laughs> we talked about this earlier, Neil. Hold it. Are you Hold hiding it. something from us no right hiding, now? No hiding, no hiding. Okay, Nothing first off, I don't believe a word you just said. You well, it. Nothing. Oh, hold on, though, Terry. You also are in a Terry. long-term relationship. <laughs> TC, TC. I like Terry. I thought, yeah. uh, what, what should I say, Terrence? <laughs> That's my my mom's name. Okay, she calls me all Terrence. right. Yeah. I'm just saying, so like, yeah, we could up. honestly talk about the short term and the long term. Ooh. 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 Yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah. Can I be long and you be short? <laughs> well, no, it's reverse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're short term. I'm long term. Yeah. Um, let's just jump right into right. it. Right. Can you, first off, we need to know what the Shameless Sex Podcast is. And what, you know, what was it for? Who came up with it and what was it for? When April was born, she came out of the womb and said, someday I will make My first word was shameless. <laughs> sex! <laughs> no, um. Sex sells though. Sex big. No, that was your first word. Sex is a big yeah, thing. My... You guys, you guys, just, no holds barred. You need to, t- you come out and say whatever, whatever it is you want to say. Yes, and right, that most people are afraid of saying. That, so, so the short version will be. Um, I want mean, to do like the shorter, short version because I've been on the show before talking about the shop. By the way, everyone, Neil has a very special discount, discount code, code at purepleasureshop.com where everyone. We love Neil. Yeah, we right. love Neil. But apparently, we love that, Neil. That's twenty percent off. Yeah, yeah. purepleasureshop.com with that. How many code? percent off? Twenty. Which 20. apparently has made you some money. Yes, we have made a couple thousand dollars from a mom. A couple of thousand. And has there been a number Almost one? Almost ten k. Can we say what the number one selling item is? Well, on the We Love Neil discount. Yes, it's the Vesper necklace. The Vesper necklace. Yes. Which is yeah, a I sexy have one. I have, little necklace. Hang on a minute. Hang wait, on. wait, Neil, tell us. Hang on. Wait, okay, he's gonna grab it. So, anyways, everyone, purepleasureshop.com. I own this sex shop with my mom. If you go there and use coupon code We Love Neil N E I L. Yes, right, there's no A. Yes. Um, then you get 20% off of all the things. And, oh, here's the Vesper. Hmm. Oh, my God, you brought it. <laughs> you, you carry that with you? Why aren't you wearing it right now, Neil? Is that always with you? <laughs> well, you just never know. So if you, know you aren't watching you know you, on YouTube. Some people carry a gun. Some people oh. pack in a gun. I think Facebook. People packing oh. a gun, right? Yeah. Nowadays, right? I'm packing. A Vesper vibrator. So the Vesper, can you describe it though? Because yes. if folks aren't on Facebook watching this, mm. this is a vibrator that looks like a necklace, right? It looks like a necklace, but it looks like something more fantastic. Like and a nail, like Jesus's nail. Yeah, I knew you were gonna yes. go with that. I was waiting for you to say Jesus's <laughs> nail. Yeah, it looks like, like Amy's gonna be like Catholics Jesus's love nail. That. Yes, I know. Or like, what kind of drugs he got in there? <laughs> it could also be some sort of portal for what? maybe some some drugs, but nature's pocket. Mm. Mm. But it's a vibrator. Is that the smallest vibrator? No. Well, it depends what you have, what you. I don't, oh, it's on. Oh, it's oh. on. Oh, can you hear? It? It's probably sounding like a lot of like commotion on the microphone right now. It's, it? it's vibrating. Do you think this is the first time a vibrator's been on the Seneca's boardroom? Probably. And, well, I'm not <laughs> sure. Neil, where has that vibrator been? <laughs> Yeah, is it clean, Neil? Yeah, is it clean? Yeah. That, that was what I asked. I'm a germaphobe. It's so made like, of stainless steel, everyone, so it's easy to sanitize. Holy shit. That's look, nice. You got multi speeds? Multi speeds and like different yeah. So you carry that in your pocket You're with you? Just <laughs> is that like a just in case thing? <laughs> you can wear it around your neck, though. That's the whole thing. It looks Neil, sexy. You actually have that in the glove box with you all the time? I don't think it's in my backpack. <laughs> oh, so you know, carry it in your backpack. I brought it with me today because of these the girls are here today. Have you ever worn it to a bar? Mm-mm. No? I sh- I said, you know what? 
That's a good tip. Does that work? Get a piece of paper and a pen. I, I would Just be take like, notes on your phone like most people in 2020 okay, do. Okay? If I brought this to the Come Portola on. house, but we have you know, drink beforehand, right. do you think it's going to press some girls? Well, I mean, what do I... I, I think it would show, like, if you know the education behind it and you're like, I, this, this is a vibrating necklace, but here's the thing, it's mostly uh, it's female a, It's a conversation piece. Yes. That's what you have to mm. go for. So it's like, instead of swiping left or right, it's... Hey, what's your necklace about, Neil? Right. That's a hot necklace. I right. want that. Hey. And you could say, do you know what could, this could do to your clitoris? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like an open for business necklace. But yeah. that is. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's open for business. You got that on. <laughs> open for business. Hi, Neil, have you, wore, uh, has, has, have you used it? I've, it's been used. Okay. We just have to use that there. And how and how did it perform? <laughs> how did it perform? Yeah. How did, did was out it successful? 10, well, I, I, probably probably like eight out of ten. Eight. So it's what, it's yeah. It does the. It does what's the, the pluses and minus? What made it an eight out of ten? The woman had an orgasm. Oh, she. So it worked. Yeah. But it wasn't very good. Okay. Eight times uh, out of ten, <laughs> she had an orgasm. <laughs> That was a good That's question a, because subjectively, I was thinking you thought maybe the intensity was an eight, and oh, so I you're saying it's it. okay. So you're saying an eight out of ten. So it, it gets a B plus. Yeah, it's, which yeah. is I think that's great. That I gets mean, C's it's to, like, it's get like, degrees, but it's also like, B's. Well, the ones yeah. you went through in Heathrow Airport. Remember the ones you were talking about in Heathrow Airport, oh, the big giant ones. Yes, I do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. I can't. Can we talk about those for a second? <laughs> yes, we, yes, we can. <laughs> Do you get the same thing from like this little guy as you do from the big kahuna? This is a great question, Neil. <laughs> Let me go ahead and answer that for you. So, with vibrators, right, we have different sizes, but that does not dictate the amount of dick. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. I can hey, myself. Hey, hang on a second. We do the jokes. Okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We have a podcast. We, we, yeah, sorry. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Strolling through the Heathrow Airport, trying to get to Germany, and I was yeah. stopped multiple times. And I did work with a company well, called Factory. Well, you and TC have something in common about that, then. Oh, we do. I, well, I, I did hear a little story about this one. Yeah. Did great. they do the body cavity search? Did they search nature's pocket, or were you good? I was good. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just a suitcase. Nature's yeah. pocket? Did, was your pocket? Was your pocket <laughs> you know what? No, but I was like, if you want to, come on. You know? No, I don't like nature's pocket search. What's nature's pocket? What's that? Well, that's go, the, go the, use your imagination. What do you think it is? is yeah. it, oh, they go right in. They get they everything. They'll look. Yeah, hopefully they no use lube, shit, though. Then you're lucky. Uber lube, lube everyone, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do it. Uber lube. It works awesome. It's not a funny topic. Are you still swiping Uber, Uber, Uber lube? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll never stop. Did you get like a, a, a award, some sex award or something like that? Yes. Uh, she is yeah, so what? the 2022, I have to give you the cred, <laughs> Sexpert of the Year, everyone. Yeah, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 yeah, dude. A celebrity. Yes. Yes. So April, I think it was 2016, no, no, do not, do not was no. Woman of the Year oh. in the sex toy industry, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, let's put hey. this in the sex of the year. I know. <laughs> if you want to celebrate, yes. if you want to celebrate, just go to, just go to purepleasureshop.com <laughs> and put in the, uh, the coupon code, we love, love coupon Neil. Coupon code, we love Neil, and you get 20% off. Uh -huh. well, what's on that, on that website? Where, where if someone goes there, is everything on there? We have, so it's it's only, so we we were a brick and mortar store, meaning a retail store here in Santa Cruz, downtown Santa Cruz, and on we Cooper moved Street. locations, so we, on Cooper Street was our last location. We sold it to Good Vibrations, we were open for 12 years, and that's where April got her start in the sex toy industry. I sold her her, I was on Cooper Street then, yeah. That was on Church Street, that's where it belongs. Right by the library. What's up, right by the Greek church? So you met street. as a customer? No, no. 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 We met working in a restaurant together, talking I've about. I never set foot inside a sex shop before I had met Amy. I ruined her. Yeah. She, she I ruined her. I was like, hey, you have a really great work ethic and you're my best friend now. Do you want to work at my sex shop? <laughs> and I said, and I said, here's a vibrator. And I was like, oh, I like it. And, <laughs> and, then the rest she, is and then she became the manager, but then she became like the, the ultimate sought out woman in the sex toy okay, industry. Okay, let's move back to what the question oh, sorry. was. So can, can, we, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can we find out, TC and I, who's, who's getting this 9000 you know, who spent $9,000 at your store? 
I can't give you their names. Because of our discount code. I can't tell you who they We are. have Jim Smith <laughs> at 775-8th <laughs> Street and Strippers. He got the jumbo dildo. Yes, he did. And he likes it. They're, um, yeah, their uh, yeah, address is 5555. Five, 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 and his social security <laughs> number is 5555. He would buy a lot of dildos. And I mean, yeah, and we love you, Jim. We love you, Jim. We love you, Jim. You. You. $9,000 is a lot. Now, yeah. That's the number one item right there. You, you said so for Neil's. So for the Neil's sales, we've sold a lot of this. I think a fair amount of Uber Lube, and then just like the other essentials. Because I think what people do. So when you ask Cheers. like what's happening on the mm -hmm. store, is we sell only high quality toys. And in the sex toy industry, there still is low quality materials that are toxic. Like that's called still a thing. Phthalates. Yeah. It starts with a pH and ends with a late. And, and then death. death. That's like latex stuff or something? Uh, or? Yeah. Well, there are plastic materials that are derived from uh, basically it's softening agents that they used to use in children's toys, but they were banned in the 1950s. However, after that, since the FDA does not regulate the sex toy industry, they can still use those agents in sex toys. So mm. there's no regulation. The FDA does not have to approve sex toys, so they can still use phthalates to soften plastics, which makes it just feel a little bit... A little bit more like a consistency that you'd want to insert into your body rather like, than a hard plastic. Rubbery. Yeah, like rubbery. The jelly. Right. But the way you would tell that it has that is it, it stinks. stinks. Yeah. No, it, it stinks. It stinks. Oh, What's the yeah. stink like? It stinks. Like, plastic. No, it smells like chemical. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yes. I've yes. brought some of those home and they went straight to the trash. Yeah. And they exactly. give people mm -hmm. rashes. What did you bring home? Hold on a second. What did you bring home? Well, no, well. <laughs> Do you I, I I like see. well you know what it was it was the the rubbery uh Dildo the jelly dildo. Will you just exactly. do that motion again? Because I would, uh, uh, oh yes. So the phallic, veiny, fleshy ones that aren't Make so some nice. Sparkles in there. Yeah. Which I want to say, I don't, I, I don't know if this is okay to do. I want to just bust a myth right now. Not all sex toys are dildos, and mm. not all sex toys are phallic. Some look like the Vesper. Mm -hmm. Some look like nothing other than a beautiful art piece you could put on a shelf in your home, and your kids or not that they have to but they could walk by our friends or your neighbors could walk by and be like that's a beautiful piece of art and you'd be like yeah that's right that i just fucked that's that going in your will you will <laughs> inherit that you're welcome well it seems like they've gotten a lot more expensive as they've gotten more creative with stuff too sex tech yeah sex what do you think you spent on sex toys last year dollar wise <laughs> well one christmas i spent <laughs> like 650 bucks <laughs> at your pleasure shop <laughs> Well, and I'm gonna uh, you up. Uh, I hope my wife's not watching, but she's yeah, always like, right. "Oh my god, what are you oh, doing?" He, said, hey, he was, hey, yeah. he's by he something. <laughs> but um, but I, I've I've gotten it. I've I've figured out that the more you spend, normally the better of a toy you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. So, Nailed it. I'm yeah. giving you an air high five and an air hug and a hell yes, because but, this yeah. is why. So, this is true. Yeah. Well, that's like Novak always says, but yeah, stick with quality, right? Quality, yeah. yeah. Well, stick with quality. You right? get, you you get, get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. And um, they're waterproof. Mm -hmm. Some of those nice ones. What are you yeah. doing in the water? Well, well, yeah, they, yeah. They, Where are you going? Well, I'm kind of a shark in the hot tub. And so oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, You're a shark hot tub in the shark? hot tub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about a nurse shark? Are we talking about a killer? Hey, Lorna. Oh, Jaws. What great one. Lorna, if you're listening, <laughs> would you pop down, Mark? We'll just pop it. You're like 100 yards away. Get in the car, pop on down here, and we'll, we'll talk about the shark in the hot tub. But that waterproof hot tub combination is really cool. Mm. Just saying. And so that's so, why the quality. So you're, you're the, adding Uber Lube, right? Because like the water the and the lube mattress. Yeah, no, the, 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 yeah, it can be a bummer um, sometimes, but usually liquor solves that. Not for my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it solve it for your pussy? Nope. Nope. Not necessarily. Nope. Sometimes hot tub? Uber like, Lube solves all my problems. Uh, and that works in the hot tub? <laughs> It yes. does. It's, it's water mm -hmm. resistant because it's silicone. So it's, mm -hmm. it's water, well, I said that, resistant. So it, it actually hangs out longer than like water base just disappears and blends in with your body. So it's designed for shower sex and uh, hot, hot tub, tub sex. Although, in all kinds of sex, but well, hot tub sex is deep. Well, what's the, what's the problem with hot tub sex? Like, if you had to say one word about it, it's friction, right? Right. Yeah. Because it creates too much friction. And these so infections. And mm. That's the second. <laughs> and if you don't, if you have a penis, you might have not experienced a yeast infection. However, they do happen, just like shit. Ooh. No. However, if you 
a little bit of lubrication. Yeah. Yeah. Is communication and it's a nice station it's to stop it, at. Emily Morris right there. Oh, yeah. Emily yeah. Morris. <laughs> Sex no, that's <laughs> communication is lubrication. Oh, oh, sorry. But lubrication is just lubrication. Emily Morris. So, <laughs> so, so getting back to that, someone who does enjoy getting frisky in the hot tub, Uber Lube. Yes. And mm -hmm. also, April has some really wonderful waterproof toys to teach you about today Ooh. that we brought. All right. And now, most products we're, we're are for... We're going to get to those. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. But w when you use products, do yeah. you typically think of them for penis people, like pe people that have penises, or do you think of them for people mm. that have vaginas, vulvas, Ooh, clitoris? Good oh, good what point. do you think? I want to ask the question. I always, for me, it's always a female okay. aspect Got of it. Got it. Right. And for you, Neil? That's a good point. I've got to think about that. <laughs> I played the fifth. I played the fifth. <laughs> Even though I, 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 I get what you your point what? is, because there's you men what? sexual hang on. AIDS. You, get, you can get best of both worlds. If you both can, if you both can use it, why limit yourself? Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe you have a fucking clasp for that one. I won't clap on it. Because, yes, you both can use it, and right? it's an enhancement. It's, right. it's yeah. an enhancement. We think of masturbators, and what do we think of when we think of masturbators? If you thought of, I'm going to put my penis in something solo, you think of either your hand, right. because that's fucking natural, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, hey, I have one. Or two, right. and when you think of got? right, so when you are you, we talking about one of these things? Maybe, right maybe. Same way. Same way. You're smooth. Uh, you're well, very you know smooth. What? She's huh? smooth, lady smooth. over here. <laughs> so that's what's in that box right there. Oh, oh hi. Yes. We have two boxes here, everyone. So, Ladies so, and gentlemen. So we have. We, we, today Ladies we're going to talk gentlemen. about masturbators for penises. <laughs> And we're also See, going, also known as the guy Hang on a second, a second. So, TC, I love you like a brother. Yeah, thank you. Did you ever think we'd talk about penises and masturbation Hell on no. the Ultimate Radio Show? Here no. you are. And so what's funny is I have a lot of friends that are watching right now. You do? Just, oh, yeah. Hey, so, hey, 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 real embarrassing stuff tonight. We're also going to talk about the Radio Page to page, not on Santa Cruz. Oh, yeah. Kept, yeah. Not Kept clean. Santa, sorry. PG on, yeah. Tyler PG Fox. over there. Mm -hmm. We're not. We're not, we're not so PG. Mm -hmm. No, good. No. Yeah. yeah, this is not. I'm PG. keeping it rated R. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not PG, but it's just fun. It's fun. No, it's, I mean, you know it's what? PG I mean, thirteen. Second, anything you have here, PG whatever 16. we have, it's all fun. I want right? to speak to one thing. This is not about penis masturbators only. I'm also talking about couples toys. So if you like fucking a vagina out there, is it okay to say fucking a vagina? Because it just did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And you have a penis? This, this product, like, it, yes, I helped design it. So I oh. helped design it because I knew how important it was for vulva stimulation when you're getting penetrated by a penis. Externally, so the clitoris. If we all mm -hmm. want to talk about the clitoris, what do you think the clitoris looks like? What do you think it looks like? Is it just like a? It's point? a big thing. It's a big, like an octopus-looking thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I want to. I, I want to be. You're well, well, with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want that clitoris. Jesus. You, <laughs> Jeez. Does really? it go? Does it go inside? The octopus has the eight arms, motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> It's like a raisin in a basket. Hang on, the FCC's calling TC. No, my wife's calling. <laughs> Come home right now. Stop. Get Stop out of her. Get out of her. All right, well. I don't know about this octopus thing. All right, all right. What? So, actually, it's a brand of hot octopus. The James, it Bond, is movie, octopus. The James Bond movie was called Octopussy. This brand is hot octopus. <laughs> You're pretty smart. Should we answer the phone right now and see if we have any callers? <laughs> have we have any callers? <laughs> right. No check. We're going to check in with callers. April, call us. They hung up. They hung up. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Bark callers going off. All right. Tell them what they've won, sir. Good luck. All right. So <laughs> we have. The boardroom home of the shameless sex podcast. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to go by. Oh, hey. Oh. The mom, she's mm -hmm. mad. The mom, she's mad. The boardroom, she's she, mom she, mad. She bought the wrong size T-shirt for oh. her twelve-year-old son. That went the yellow. TC, uh, <laughs> are you TC? Are you? Oh, we're mad. Right. This is fun. There you go. What right. happened? Were they mad? Hey, wrong number. Oh, <laughs> All right, so someone's mad. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we have a clitoris, and I'm going to tell you if you didn't know. Now but you know. But no, goes, tell, ask, tell me, tell me, tell me, ask me. Doesn't it go up inside and stuff like that? Absolutely. Right? Very it's good. It's not just a little thing. Okay, so look at it's this. Little, you see two fingers right here? Hold your fingers up like this, Neil. Hold them up like this. I've done some homework, TC. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting you to work. In Hold your, your fingers up like this. I need to see him. I need to see him. Give me the peace sign. Pace it. Pace okay, it. Peace sign. Come on, Neil. Go okay, so right me. here, yeah. if you're, it was like this, right. this right here, and I'm pointing to the crevasse of the, the peace sign, the, that's the tip of the clitoris. Right, but deep guess inside. what? Deep inside, it has 
it's like a wishbone. Right. So it goes oh, deep inside the vaginal octopus. canal. So there's legs. So there's legs. Right. That's like I said, two yeah. legs. You, Can you see you where I said Some octopi? might have eight, which mm. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> if they have eight, like, I'm down. Like, I want to hear about it. I want to have I eight. But I helped design this product Can called I put the my Adam Plus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This has the grinding tool that goes oh, the on the top tool. that will... I'm going to bust it up. Can I bust, bust it up? Bust it up. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So this is called the Atom Plus Cock Ring. And I want to show you because... Okay, who knows bag. what the perineum is? And this is something oh, you just... This perineum. one another one designed? I thought it was a palladium. I, yeah. I thought it was a palladium. Oh, no, a perineum... Uh, That's between the ass and the nuts, Who knows what it is, nuts, though? Right? This is a cool Where's the perineum no on your body? What is it? It's like an asshole in your nuts. Yeah! Also known as the gooch, the case. Also known as the gooch? The gooch. The taint, right? The taint. Yeah, okay, got it. That's yeah. called the gooch. So gooch. this was designed to hit the perineum, the atom plus, oh, the perineum. Right. Also, the it's perineum. stretchy. Not the palladium. Ooh. No, the perineum. Okay. Well, you stretch you out over your balls, balls, too? So yeah. you go in when you are when you have a flaccid cock, which, mm -hmm. so you have to kind of plan, but you can put each testicle in, and then you switch it into a way that puts all of your... Your beautiful jewels, mm -hmm. the treasure, the buried treasure when you get the emeralds and the rubies. And so when you get an erection, there's two motors. And then if your partner grinds on this part at the top, yeah. they can actually get their clitoral legs stimulated because it has this Perfect. nub and this texture mm. that basically it's instant orgasm. I'm gonna put it on and you're gonna it's basically silent, so everyone out there listening Neil's is not going to be impressed. Neil's right now. <laughs> there you go. There oh, you go. Oh, hey. oh, right there That's got some power. It's working. Wow. Oh, my God. That, we can have a race with that. It's that's got like a that's, Ferrari motor in that it. That is a Ferrari motor, and that's Fair, what oh, we know. Our dogs hate Shit. it. Turn the it dogs do hate it. So this, this though, because if you feel it, you want TC to feel it. Let me ask that thing has some HP. It's some horsepower. Okay, it, and it's vibrating on both ends. Yeah. I get it. I and get it. And the motors it. that we do, we custom built. Hot Octopus custom built every motor, and there's two in here. And we actually engineered something in this that has never been done before in cock ring. So this is a smart cock ring. It's one that you will never feel smart another one ring. like it. It's mm. smart because it's awesome. you, does it have it's, one of those apps you can? You can we have turn, one. We have one like that, but like not this one. Around the yes. world. How do you charge you do, it? Yes. You just plug it in with a with the, a do one like do the so, that little hole right there or something. Yeah, side? exactly the little hole, and at the bottom you feel like a a, a button that's like raised, yes. yep. and you just press and hold that, and it'll go off. You press and hold it. All right. Yeah, these are for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang, on that, oh, Hang on that boy. Hang on that cowboy. <laughs> just <laughs> telling you. The... We brought two toys here. <laughs> they all, April bought two toys from Hot Octopus, and you all get up here PleasureShop.com. But we didn't know who would want what, so it sounds like TC really wants. I feel that. like well, yes. this has a lot of speeds. Oh yes. Yeah. So yes, five and five. Well, I say five and ten speeds. Probably oh. has more, but I don't know. I only need one. Do you want to make an announcement for your future plans tonight, TC? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I might have to give this Your partner's going to be stoked, by the you way. You know what? Longevity well, so, is the key. I actually, for Christmas a couple years ago, I got one that's kind of goes in. Inside and inside the vagina, yeah, the Levi, yeah, yeah, and so uh, that one you can ask because it Levi? can shift around. Yes, this one can be beneficial for you because it, it stimulates the testicles, the perineum, the taint, got the it. shaft. So you become your own mm. vibrating mass. You become your own vibrator. So your partner is gonna fuck you and be like, yes, you're kind of like God. You know, the, uh, but the, it, this seems like it would make things speed up a little bit. Are we looking for that or not looking for that? Well, I mean, I, so I, I, I like overtime, you know? Oh. So, oh. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm saying. And it can strict blood flow to yeah. help you last longer. That's oh. the whole point of it. That's why you go in when you're flaccid. Got it. That's why you stick each testicle in and you, mm -hmm. you stick the rest of your and, bits in. And you could use it without the motor on. If you're like the motor's too awesome. intense, then you can keep it off. And then it's going to keep all the blood flow there. And then we'll keep things going for a little longer. Gotcha. And then when, and then when you are an erection, you're like, How important is blood flow? How what? How important is blood flow? Well, for an erection? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it, that's it, right? Well, erections require blood, blood flow, flow, but a hard cock is not what everything's all about. Oh, it's so, not. No. Oh, hey, no. Oh my God! How There's much time do we have? We only have an hour. No, we, no, 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 we have no time limit. Uh, <laughs> no, we do. But. So I've been pushing this thing, and there's a whole bunch of speeds, but it never stops. So you have to push the plus and minus at the top area, Over and here. that will go down and up. So you have to just click, 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 oh. click. And then you'll go through and cycle. Oh my goodness. Yes. So it will stop. TC found his new best friend. <laughs> I'm, you know I'm, what? I'm very curious. It will be good. And it's waterproof. <laughs> so guess what? The hot tub that you just talked uh -huh. about or the bathtub or if you just want to like bang it out. 
whenever. Like mm. you're, you're like, hey babe, I just Bang put on the, right. the atom. Oh, he, he wants to know what banging out oh. means. No, so there's you, my pull that thing. you walk around the house with that thing on, TC? <laughs> oh, she's gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, she's gonna be like, what are you doing? No, she's gonna be, huh? That's funny. I forgot how to yeah. turn it off. Yeah, I was trying to turn it off too. Press and hold oh. the bottom. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. And what, how much does that cost? 99 MSRP. This is oh. the Atom ATOM Plus, everyone. I did help design this, though, y'all. I did. I had 13 different cock rings now, much? because of peer pleasure, and 99. I hated all of them. Let me ask you a question. All of them. Does you help design? Does that mean you're, you're like n nose down on a drawing board? Figuring it out? No, we have a design team for that. Like, hmm? We have a design team for that. She had to put. You were, you were a test pilot. Yeah. She, design team. How many people does it take to design that? 12. That's engineering. I'm Twelve sure. fucking yeah. people. Twelve and two years. And, two uh, years and in production. Is, is it selling? Is you it know sell what? A lot? We invented. A, uh, we invented this coil system. Has never been done before. So you all don't know about cock rings, but or sex toys. But we had octopus. They invent everything. We invent everything we have to like take things from outside and make them so it's not just like oh i bought a dildo that has like these like right. it's a rabbit that's right. like uh, innovative so it's, you work you work for this company. this is patented you're, you're this a sales, is patented. sales i'm the vp of this company vp i'm the vice mm -hmm. president mm -hmm. get the VP but what that means when you're a startup president. it means yeah. i do yeah. fucking everything yeah. 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 i what's your business card say it, business it card? says nothing because i do fucking everything Oh my god, she, uh, she might need a raise, the saying, she might need a raise. Oh. No, for real though, it's true, it doesn't say anything because I don't believe in titles. Right. And Good for company's you. British, right. so they don't have vice president, yeah. so they call me, Oh, you're like the global head of sales, marketing, and yes. just visual everything. And I'm like, yes well. I am. <laughs> they're more proper, they're more posh British. Right. Not so cockney, the Octopus but, you know, is an English company? It's oh, yeah. Hot Octopus is a British mm -hmm. company. I own 5%, I'm going to be honest. Whoa. Yes, I We do. know what we're doing over there, TC. You guys do know, yeah. Because it's, mm -hmm. it's, you know. Neil's, you know, yeah. It's dark. It gets, the winter times are slow there. Long, dark. A lot of so kids long. probably get conceived yeah. away, yes. right? Oh, so let her hey, tell nothing. the story of why the owner of this company created a masturbation product, by the way. Because, uh, well, well how, how did he decide that he wanted to create uh, the first product that she'll talk about next? He just discovered because he really liked masturbating, and let's talk about that because apparently okay. it's really gloomy. Okay, first let's start with the question. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you all masturbated? Do you oh have your time? I, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Really? I was five. <laughs> you were five? five? Five years old. Didn't know I was masturbating at the time. I was humping a teddy bear named Barry. Thank you, Barry. I love you. <laughs> hey, we miss you, Barry. <laughs> miss you, Barry. What was the teddy bear's name? Barry. 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 Yeah, yeah. Is, is that an I early start? Is that early five? Is that... No? I was well. I was five That's and a really... half because I'm born in July and it was December of 1987. Is your question is, is that early start for people, to, young people? To yeah. start oh, is that, oh, that's no. the question. I was like, no, no, no. So, no it, it, the people could be three. I mean, there's like with ultrasound showing potential, which is no full evidence on this by all right, means. Right. I'm not a doctor or scientist, but ultrasounds potentially showing. Um, young fetuses maybe like touching themselves into a point where they're Get the hell out of but here. okay so let's go to three hmm? three or two year olds let's go to two year olds who just want to like rub and diddle all over everything all the time all they want is things hmm. that feel good and they're not like and they and they can have orgasms they cannot ejaculate though like a two year old penis owning individual does not have the ability to ejaculate but they can have orgasms so it's totally natural for a five year old to be like hey Barry what's <laughs> up you look real cute Barry. and you feel real nice. Or like the shower mm -hmm. head gotcha. is a common one for young mm -hmm. people too. So did, does Barry have a smile? No, Barry had a soft nose <laughs> and a, a flannel dress. <laughs> Got it for Christmas. Well, Barry had a dress on? Yes, Barry. There is a lady. There is a lady bear. <laughs> My mom had no idea this was going on until finally, I think two years after I received Barry as a Christmas present, the nose was so smashed down and there was like white <laughs> stuff on it. And she was like, what's going on with Barry? And I was like... Oh, I don't know. Oh, she Very got scary. stuck in the thing. And I remember being like, what do I say? Because I didn't know what I was doing was masturbation. I just knew that I would hump this teddy bear and it felt really good. And that being said, my boss that created these products also started masturbating when he was about seven, sticking his dick in a coming back to a jacuzzi. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he oh was boy. seven, and he was like, I would just stick my my wing into like. 
this like you know like the 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 portal to the jacuzzi what is it i was like the it's jet he's like yes well <laughs> yes the jet he's like it felt so fucking good She's oh my god Karen's house yeah. i was like whoa so he was obsessed with frenulum stimulation does you, do you know where the frenulum no. is where is your friend what? neil what? What? Frenulum. frenulum i got pretty close to palladium <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where your friend is no. no hang on hang on the f- what's it the friendly. The friendly. No, 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 I have no idea. It's like the wait, wait, wait. Let's give them. Wait. Oh. Let's see. Oh, if you can. No, let's see. It's a frenulum. It's an area of the body. Yeah. What do you think it is? I want to have. I want to have some guesses. It's in your mouth. There is a lingual frenulum that's on your tongue that connects your tongue to your back of your teeth. It has area. a webbing huh. a consistency. Hmm. But where do you so think like the your, penile like frenulum is? Where do you think it is? Uh, is that like around the? Uh, around your nuts. The, yeah. The, the, what? From their penis nope, to your nut sack? Nope. 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 Damn, this is interesting. It's mm. the clitoris of the Where's penis. Where's my everyone? dildo? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's underneath the, t- the, sh- the head. It's so, it's sex expert, sex expert. Okay. Oh, that, oh yeah, sex expert Amy of the year. Ha 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 ha. Super bonus. Um, so, okay, so you have the head of the cock, and then some people are circumcised, some people are not. Yeah. Um, so for circumcised folks, we'll include you as with uncircumcised. So uncircumcised folks, if we pull back your foreskin, or circumcised folks, you don't have a foreskin anymore, there's the urethral opening. That's where your urine and ejaculate comes out of. And then from there, there's a little line that goes down on the head of the cock, and that is the frenulum there, like frenulum. Right, right below it, where the head of the cock, it's almost like the mushroom think about that that it has a webbing it's like the webbing and it connects it it connects to the shaft Uh, uh, of your cock it's like the clitoris of the penis Uh so that's the frenulum and he was obsessed adam the founder was obsessed with frenulum stimulation loved it since the age of seven would stick his cock little baby ween i don't know how the size normal (laughs) into the the jets and he was like it felt so nice (laughs) and then when he got older he got married and he was like, he didn't like stroking. He was like, that's not my thing. He wanted all of the focus on and the, the attention to be on the frenulum and the head of the penis. And so he was like, I'm gonna take my wife's vibrator. He, she had like a bullet vibe. Yeah. And he would, he would attach it to his cock on the head with a sock and a rubber band so Jeez. he could like hold it on without having to actually stroke. Yeah. And then he would orgasm. He's like, this is amazing. There's gotta be other people out there like me. And there were no products out there that were pe- for people like him. Everything out there on the market before Hot Octopus came out, someone who's been in the sex toy industry in the 7th April but since 2008, was all of these, like, the, like, flashlight, you know, right. all these pocket, yes. pocket mm-hmm. pussies, mm-hmm. all these things that look mm-hmm. like anatomy, but you had to one... See, he was an innovator. But yeah, and you had to be hard to use them, first of all, because they were just the thing you'd stick your hard cock into. And they look like body parts, and they you had to do the work with them. And so he created a thing where whether you were hard or soft, it did the work for you, and you could lay your cock in there, and it would just be like and give you a nice massage exactly where you and want. the unveiling. So he created. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. oh Baba, I have a drum roll, please. Uh, the hot octopus. It looks like it could play on a It looks like a Bluetooth speaker almost. The solo. So that's the one that someone would be like, what's this? Because it doesn't look like a sex toy. Exactly. No. Mm-hmm. Which is... So you just, you, you put the thing around you. So you can go, you can use this product. It's called the Pulse Solo. This is our flagship product that Adam flagship. created. Flagship. Flagship meaning our first one, because now we have 13 different uh, pieces in our collection. This I is, think of us mm. as like a design company, because we are more lifestyle than sex toys. Like, it's not like this flaccid rabbit toy that you're going to fuck. Like, all of our products are intentional, innovative there's science behind them. This is based on nine years of medical research, the oscillating pulse plate technology that's on here. Why? Did, did, did anybody have a day after the nine years? Or they just, <laughs> they, no, they, they worked just, all they worked. every day. They worked. They worked. Oh, they worked. I quit. No sleeping. <laughs> no, I'm wore out. No, because no, no, no. no, they were like, we have to get this done. So we need this. Right? Now. Hey, what's I retail mean, on this baby? 99? 99 99 again? We and have higher and we have versions that you can use in anywhere in the world as 20% well. 20% off by the way. If you 20% mention. off. What's the code? Uh, we love Neil. Yay! Yes. We, love we love Neil. N-E-I-L. Well, you were asking about something you can use anywhere in the world though, right? The app ones before? You yeah. Like, can you use that? So we have one of these that, that are has like 179. App? No, that is the same look and design, yeah. but you can have an app that you can like fuck your partner in another place or a cam model or a porn star that will mimic the same 
positions or functioning. Or your wife at home. Just Bingo. <laughs> I won't talk too much more about oh. it because I don't want to sell it to you. I think Wait, it sells. Leave it so you're describing it. I want them to it. feel it. Let's have them feel it. Okay, so let's have them put their fingers in there. Okay, Neil, you, you first. What do you think? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it'd be easy to maintain. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. This is yeah. the cool thing about it. All right, yeah. That's the yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. go in flat. Yeah, you know what? That put you in a good mood to hop me. Uh. <laughs> Hang on a second. If you're stuck in traffic on Highway 880, use right, this. You, yeah, you pull that out. You're stuck in traffic for 40 minutes going nowhere. You pull this out and have a little fun. You'd be, you'd be hoping for traffic. Tra I heard you he was in traffic earlier, but you, you would have had a better time if you had given me this. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you would be the it might be illegal. Be the slow lane. Okay, think about orgasming when you ejaculate into a flashlight. Yeah. If you ever have one of those. I've seen those things. It's yeah. like when you have Gross. to clean those, you have to like, it's like a. Can, can you even clean that stuff? Soup. Yeah, you like dump it enough. out. It's like a can of cream of mushroom soup. No. If anybody's ever cooked Thanksgiving dinner, it's not so good. <laughs> yeah. And this is just like you ejaculate and then you just wash it. And it's like, oh, hi. Now it looks like it's it. easy to maintain. Yeah. And yeah. Easy to maintain. Yeah. There's yes. a reason why it's called the guy braider because there was a missing The guy thing. braider? The guy braider. So mm. in, in the sex toy industry, you will, so you go to Pure Pleasure, which we don't own anymore now. It's good vibrations. But purepleasureshop.com, everyone. We get go 20% there. Off. You get 20% off. You get 20% off. We love Neil. All right. We're beating it to death. We yeah. have to get when you go into the store, like it, or Good Vibrations now, let's say this: you go in there, like seventy-five percent of the store is geared towards bulbous, and there's a small section geared towards penises with cock rings, with penis toys that are stimulators or masturbators or whatever. And so, but there wasn't anything like this out there available, where because there were all things like y'all can't get erections all the time. I'm sorry, like nope. I. I you're, I know that you are like nope. only 20 years old nope. and you're only like 25, <laughs> but like it doesn't matter what your age is and or like what your experience is. But blood flow is not happening. No, it might not be happening. Or maybe you do have an erection and you just want to have a good time. Well, what about, okay, Viagra, which we have to talk about. Oh, That can be hard with other but medications. I heard a little bit of only here more of a You story. might want to hear the story. I want to hear the story, the but this classic. is safer than Viagra because you know what? After you come, like, you don't have to worry about your cock being hard for seven days. Yeah. No, I mean, I get out. it. Yes. Yeah, no, because I, it doesn't come with instructions. Was your seven days? No, but it was uh, for about, I don't know, 12, 14 hours or something. Did you go to the hospital? No. But I took three. That's crazy. But I, I was like, I'm going big. You're That's like, why I, that was exactly what my thought was. I'm going to go big. Well, the story is, we were in Mexico. My wife wanted to get some Retina A, something. You retin -A. Get, yeah, I yeah. use it on my face right. too. Yeah. Yes. So we went to the Lord. pharmacy. We got some Retina A, and then the pharmacy lady goes, "Do you need Viagra?" And I was like, "No." My wife's like, "Yeah." <laughs> so I'm like, "All right, let's try it." You know? I love your wife. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> know her, but I love her. <laughs> yeah. So that night, you know, plus I had some drinks, and that didn't help. And so I was like, "Well, you know, let's 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 try it." So plop plop plop. And, uh, but you thought like Advil, you popped three of them. Well, yeah. I was like, yeah. Great idea. Good. Yeah, and... Uh, so you didn't just dabble in one, you went straight to three. three. Okay, yeah. that, that? Yeah, I okay. pushed the envelope a little bit, and like Why? my face turned red, and... Uh, but I woke up having sex. Was so no, that was shit. awesome. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You woke up having Was it consensual? Sex. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, she, she, my wife raped me. <laughs> um... Okay, I still love you, wife. Uh... <laughs> but, uh... uh yeah. Okay, okay. Well, you know, she what's... wrote him like, oh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll tell you, it's funny because the Viagra's a gift that keeps on giving, I found out. Because so it's... could you orgasm and then have multiple orgasms? Mm -hmm. Yes. You could. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's very rare. So yeah. for legal purposes, would we say that this was rape or this was also like... Uh, totally you, you were super stoked yeah. to wake up to having no. someone run your car. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Legally, yeah. okay. Legally, yeah. we're yeah. legal. Exactly. We're legal. We're yeah. good. We're cool. Yeah. We also are only fun. advocates for consensual sex, yeah. by yeah. the way. I would right. never right. advocate yeah. for anybody doing that. We still love your wife. We're having I hope she's not watching. Um, but anyway, she is. I'm anyways, uh, oh, I, I get I'm it. Down and goes, I'm downloading this show to YouTube and sending it right you, to yeah. her. Perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, but this thing was cool. Is that um, 
It's so inconspicuous. Mm. You know, yeah. like I remember you were saying that when you travel, you put a giant dildo on your seat. Well, I don't want them to search my shit. So you put the biggest thing that they don't want to touch, and you're like, oh, but and they this, open up the suitcase and go. This oh my they gosh. would even be like, I mean, they they would pull me aside for this because it, it doesn't look like a sex toy, which is great. But I deliberately put things that look like sex toys in my carry on so they don't fuck with me. Mm. Well, that's something, that's something like you did. You know, that's something you did. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's another wife story. <laughs> I like wife story. Well, what, yes. Tell me about the wife story or. or oh, well, he about to tell his, his, okay. It's his missus. So well, he, yeah, okay. I've, I've said it twice on the show, so right. I can say it again. But uh, traveling through the airport, uh, we were going to Mexico, and I just dumped the sex toy drawer into my suitcase. And, uh, Smart move. Yeah, and. I'm in line at Puerto Vallarta at the airport. About five jets just landed. There's probably 400 people in line that push the hit the button, the red light, green light. And anyone who's traveled knows in Mexico, before you can leave customs, you hit a green light. You go walking out of the airport. If you hit a red light, they check your suitcase. So about three people away, I looked at my wife and I said, "The suitcase is full of sex toys." <laughs> and she says, "You're you're so full of shit." And I'm like, "No, I'm dead serious." She goes, "No, you're totally full of shit." She did not believe me. So, of course, I hit the goddamn red light. You're like, I was going to surprise you, And honey. there's literally like 400 people so excited to see what's in my suitcase. <laughs> and this 18-year-old kid probably opens it up, and he puts his hands in and moves around, and just closed it and zipped it up. Like he did. Is he? It works. It totally works. You put the sex toys in there. And so we're not saying, like, don't do all the bad things with the sex toys in there. But yeah. if you want to get through customs really quickly... Just like put the thing that looks like Here's the, the sex thing, though. toy. What eighteen year old dude in Mexico? He's gonna look like it goes through a camera. Still, I know. Well, nowadays, it's a mom. It's a mom. It's a mom. This is if you want to be discreet, and this is the, the, that's what's wonderful. You put this in your sex toy drawer, and no one would be like, "Oh my god, are you a baby?" Right. Like it looks like I don't know, like something so you, far from any sort of just sex toy. octopusy that you're the VP for. Hot octopus. Hot octopusy. You guys no, focus. no pussy. Hot octopus. Get your mind out of the gutter, Neil. Come on, sir. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I actually like it. That's my Bond name. Right. Hot octopus. It actually is on my business credit card, oh. and I'm like, oh, fuck. Excuse me, what is your name? Oh, no, I haven't. Someone's like, hey, is there a hot the octopus at the table? And I was like, yeah, that's me. I take it. No, it's, it's, but not pussy. No, it's hang on. She, but not pussy. She went... Hi, I'm Pussy Galore. It's James Bond. Oh. Of course you are. Yeah, that was the thing. That was James Bond. The 2022 Bond. version so, of the hot octopus. Uh, the hot octopus, they focus more on women's stuff because no. it's the biggest seller. Because guys go, I don't need this and I don't need that. Or Guys are fools. They started with men's stories. They this did? Is, but this yeah. is the whole thing. Primarily speaking, in the market, it's the economy, right? 85% yeah. of all the consumer goods sold, especially in the United States, are, are, are purchased by vulva owning humans and women women yes and so we as a as a brand have been focused on something that's not niche because not mm -hmm. all of the population are women right so we wanted to create something that was for men for penis owners and i don't own a penis but we are developing and we have three different toys that are for women and we have couples products as well. This is a couples toy, the Atom Plus that I'm holding. What's it called? The Atom Plus. The Atom T, Plus. Yes, mm -hmm. with a T. So it's like an Atom Bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is is something that we've created for couples because there there was a need in, in the market to, to create something that is right. more specialized. Right. I think it's inter interesting that you asked that question. These are cock toys. Because these, so these are penis toys. Like right. These are already toys designed. Like The, the company started as... We're gonna make products for Cox, and that's all they did for a while. And then they started doing products for vulvas. And the rest of the industry is kind of doing the opposite. Well, other than are they always TC, would you be excited? If Lord, TC, would sex you be excited? If Lord got you this, or would you like? I don't need that. It's pretty. It's pretty Lord, intriguing. I'll tell you what. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty intriguing. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. One thing I didn't explain though about explain. this product Ex please, please is explain. because so this product that I'm holding yeah. it kind of looks like. Did you ever see the movie Predator? I yes. was thinking Alien. So Predator, mm -hmm. the oh, head of Predator. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. So it has wings. So it fits almost 95 percent. So if you have 95 percent of homegrown cocks, right? So if your if your cock is bigger than let's say 
um, about four inches, so like a bigger than a, a, a can of Coca Cola. If you have a cock bigger than my <laughs> arm right now, and you're yes. watching the video, it won't well, well. work. Give you a phone number. Give you a Are you giving out your phone number? Five 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 five. Not for me. I have a very shallow vagina. Yeah. Um, so that being said. The thing about it is you don't need a hard penis to actually ejaculate. So the, the science part, remember when I talked about yeah. science, mm -hmm. nine years of medical research, so the oscillation at a specific amplitude, I when see, it, I, tell me. I see a row of guys in like a, 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 like, a like an office or whatever, They're in like Denmark. Factory. They're in Denmark. I, I, I saw 20 guys lined up. Well, the testers? The testers. There were about... The testers. <laughs> which one's going to come? Which one's going to jack? No, no, he's... He, no. So, okay, the half hour guy, so the two I, second say, guy, the thing, 20 minute guy. As someone who doesn't work for the company, yeah. and I'm gonna I'm say something that might actually put you in check a little bit right now because this <laughs> has been also tested on folks with disabilities who cannot feel from their waist down and uh, have, have now limited ability to have ejaculation and orgasmic. Uh, um, Specifically people with spinal cord injuries. Spinal cord That's injuries. where oh, it, the okay. technology was developed by doctors in Denmark for mm -hmm. people with spinal cord injuries that had penises that wanted to have children. And vibration Whoa. had no effect on anyone. So 62% of people, depending on the level of their, and sorry if I'm getting nerdy or no, no, scientific good, here, but it it's important mm. to know. It's interesting. These people wanted fucking children. They had an accident. They were skateboarding and fucking, mm. like they. Watch out for the Bowie skateboard. <laughs> exactly. They got fucked up and they were like, I'm 25, I want a baby. Right. How can I have children? So they tested oscillation in these hospitals in Denmark. Why Denmark? I have no fucking idea, but mm -hmm. Denmark, they're ahead of it. Copenhagen's a happy place. And a specific amplitude when it was placed on their cocks. 62% of these people, depending, they were, could be 62% could actually ejaculate or have an erection or both. Remember, those things are not simultaneous. Mm -hmm. One can happen without the other. So Adam, the the founder who designed this, the fucking professional wanker, as I call mm -hmm. him, he's consensual. Yeah. The yes. professional mm -hmm. wanker. The professional wanker. He, we have a podcast episode actually about uh, in the beginning days it was like the uber loop chemist and the professional wanker and yeah. it was Adam is on our shameless sex podcast talking about this so. and he was like you call me a professional wanker but you he's so proud right. he's yeah. like you're right. I was like that's he's right. all proud he's super <laughs> proper and he's yeah. so he's like so, so proper but he doesn't mind because it's true because he did revolutionize mm -hmm. this sort of thing so the point is I'm going to get to a point because I think I need to get to the point because I don't want to lose people here point is, you can fucking stick your cock in this, no matter if you're soft, hard, semi-erect, and it can help you get an erection, even if you have erectile issues, hmm. even if you have any <clears throat> sort of spinal cord issues, right, right. even if you have a disability, even you if you- You can be Viagra. You also, me, the it jump, also means- Viagra. But it means yeah. you can have yeah. multiple <laughs> orgasms. You could, wow. you could fuck your partner, your mm -hmm. wife, and then you could be like, babe, I want to go again. I don't need to pop a Viagra. See, I can put this on my cock, and it would go again Or you could just fuck yourself. Well, it seems like it, it, it's a great, like, a jump start, you know, yeah. for some people. I can mm -hmm. see it being the aid that you don't have to, like, put chemicals in your body. Or, or just, like, I just want to have a good time. I'm alone, and I want to have a good time right And now. what about mm -hmm. the fact that it doesn't look like a butt, a mouth, vagina, an avatar's vagina? Mm -hmm. I gotta fuck this porn star <laughs> There are sex that look so, like avatars, There are. Right? There are. <laughs> That's really interesting. And um, so you said it comes in different colors. No, it, this, so the solo, so there's pulse, so pulse, so... Pulse plate technology is what we patented. So we have a worldwide patent on this technology, so you cannot find it in any other sex toy out there. VP in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, VP. Uh -huh. VP in the house, I'm not even bro. trying to sell sex toys. I just want all you Dear. penis owners know, to know about <laughs> okay. it. Sex toys are not just for women. Hey, and yeah. do you bring these home and test them out at home? Fuck yeah, I do. Hell okay. yeah. yeah. Okay, well, well, we've been doing that since 2008, <laughs> easy. Come on. Okay, your, your, your number one sex toy is... At your pleasure, you mean? No, the one that you that you're using at you use it today. Oh, at home, myself. Yeah. You're talking yeah. about well, I use my system. own vulva. Yeah. Yeah. So one. I like what do you what do you call for you? Um, air Satisfy. technology Satisfy. by what? companies called Satisfyer or Womanizer. Air technology. It's a second. I'm bringing it, but it sounds pulse. like this. <laughs> But when it's when it's actually on every it, female yeah. that's watching yeah. this, but whoa! But when it's on it, it sounds like this. But 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 she's never even pushed before. Hang on a second, okay? Y'all, right. hang on. There, one, two, three. <laughs> 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 
All right, well, try April has eaten some pussy before, so she knows what's going on. I have, yes, I have. Yeah, she has. But so, no, that's what I'm talking about. So, yes, it sounds like that. It's quite loud until you put it on your body. And then it's what a it little do? more quiet. What, what you put, how do you put it on your so body? So, it does this combination of a light suction while vibrating. Mm-hmm. And you put it, I don't put it directly on my clit. Like, that's, that's a way to do it. Too much, too much. I put it on, like, the like upper part of the shaft, because April's talking about this whole thing the, here, like, with the legs. But then we have the yeah, clit, yeah, yeah. but then we have the shaft up here. Well, I put it on the upper part of the, the shaft. shaft right here? So the shaft would be up okay. here, or the left side, or the right Show side. Show that too. Does that come with instructions? <laughs> yeah, right now. Here's, <laughs> here's your instructions. <laughs> We're writing a book, everyone. If you're uh, watching right now, just so you know. Well, that means a book. In 2023, there will be a book out that will teach you much more about this. We, so that's your, fa- can I a second? Yeah. that's your favorite. That's your favorite. What's it called? So it's by companies called Satisfier or Womanizer, and okay. they make many different Air products. Pulse. Air Pulse technology. Is that on the website? Yes, technology. at purepleasureshop.com. Okay. We what love is the Neil. One that you love, though, it's called the. I I mean I like there's their. A little the, one. There's a Satisfier Pro, but I have a very specific one. But I'm not gonna. Yeah, I, it, 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 the the Womanizer Premium is dope. Yeah. That one? Yeah, I'm a, cl- I'm a classic Which one? Okay, now your April turn. loves the magic wand. I don't like the air pulse technology for myself. Yeah, and magic wand. The magic wand is my go-to, but I want to say to anyone out there listening, that one thing that you have to understand, which I never understood until I started doing this work, is that genitals are also different. So Amy was talking about where her pussy gets off and, and mine gets off, and then there's dudes that I've had, you know, Relations with like sex, you mean <laughs> like banging, <laughs> like making love, but I'm not a banged it out or something. And it's like, oh, okay, but something worked on one dude, it doesn't work on another dude. And so, the thing is, we have to remember that our genitals are like our fingerprints, so and they no all women, are different. No woman's genitals are the same, no. So, it's like you gotta find you gotta go a dive in and learn and, about them individually, right? Mm-hmm. Or they tell you about the map. They can tell you where the map, right? If they know the map, because not everyone Did, knows the map. Do women if, know the map? Not everyone knows the map. So you're no. going to dive in there and find out, you're going to find out for yourself. Okay, like, all right, okay. You're, you're getting too general. Let's slow down, Neil. Let, all right, let's take a minute. Take, Ooh, take, take, Neil, in. take a <laughs> breath, Neil. Take okay, a breath. On. Everyone take a sip half, of your wine right, right now. Deep breath. Deep breath. All right, okay. muzzle okay. All right. I, slow, I put a second gear in the hand. All right, so, like April's saying, everyone is fingerprints, and we're all unique fingerprints of our genitals. So your cocks, pussies, assholes, all the things. And here's the thing. You could have a 60-year-old person who has never discovered their genitals. Mm. You could have a 20-year-old who knows the fuck out of their genitals. Mm-hmm. They know how to touch it. They know how to rub it. They know exactly what they like. So these things don't matter. Yes, there are generational gaps because now we live in an era where maybe masturbation, self-pleasure, using sex toys is a little more okay. And yet you still have people like, I don't know, I keep using like Iowa or Ohio where... They could, Don't say it. Midwest is great. I love the Midwest. I'm from Wisconsin, April's by Wisconsin. the way. So, you know. But, like, you could no. be, you know, you could be 30, 40, 50 and still think that this thing is not cool. You could be 20 and still think that this is not okay hmm. to go and explore your own genitals. So, the, the issue here is not about, we can't make a generalization. We can't say it's up to the, well, I mean, let me correct that. The hope is that each person would go on a self discovery mission to understand their genitals better, to describe to the people they're having sex with, Mm -hmm. and to Mm self-pleasure. And before that, a lot needs to happen, including moving through shame, moving through trauma, Mm -hmm. moving in, learning a lot about their body and exploring all these different things. And then if they do that, then they can share it with people. But you cannot approach a body and be like, well, you're 50, right? You know your body, so you must know your cock and your your pussy. No, because a lot of people still have uh, not done those other, move those other layers, hence right, why right, we have right. a podcast that, that invites all these authors and doctors and educators and all these people to explain all the ways that we can do that um, and the option the options available. So we're not shaming anyone. If, you're a, if you are 16 and you have not done this, we're not shaming you. We're saying it's available. And sex isn't just for procreation but, anymore. Also, Hell we, we, no. We, you know, we laugh about it. We laugh about it, right? We giggle and we laugh about mm-hmm. it. We laugh about you coming to the show. We do too. But, but, but you know what, though? It's important to talk about it. And, you know, I, every time I talk to you, I learn something. And, you know what? We, we sex something we all enjoy. Well, yeah, we laugh about it. Well, but we, we, no, I can't say everyone. Most people. Yeah. Tisita. <laughs> well, no. We hit the red button like you when you enter the room. No, yeah. just kidding. Your green is go, Neil. Well, but we should play that game. Ooh. 
Ooh, oh my thanks. god. So the game, I love a fucking game. game. <laughs> where they make comments about sex when they're wrong and go... <laughs> But like, Maybe we should just buzz the vibrator. Oh, uh, yeah, put on. All right. Oh, I did say right. palladium. All right, so can we talk, ask... Palladium. So do, are we clear that that, yeah, clear. that Neil is getting the um, the, the hot I the solo essential yep. master? Yeah, I, I, I want the cock ring. And, and you're getting sure. the atom really? and the T yeah. plus mm -hmm. cock ring. Yeah, these are for you. This and awesome. we're not winner. gently used, don't worry. I don't have a piece. <laughs> Jesus, Christmas is here. I know, this is a this gift that's going to keep on giving. I love it. You're yes. welcome. If you have questions, you can text me or call me. If you FaceTime me at 3 in the morning, five, five, I five, might not be able to you. I don't it's stuck. <laughs> All right. Do I, I turn it off? The best way to get a hold of April <laughs> is to email april at amy at purepleasureshop.com, which is my email. That's what I tell people when I get in trouble. I'm like, my name's Amy Baldwin. <laughs> I live at... Bye, bye, bye. Yep. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. But uh, if you use coupon code, we love Neil, and it's the last time I'll say that, purepleasureshop.com, you not only sponsor um, that thing, is that me, 20% off. You know, TC, you know, we've given a lot of people a lot of pleasure Community from service. our shows, right? Almost from 10 grand shows. grand worth. But we've yeah. also given people sexual, how much sexual pleasure have we given? <laughs> hey, that's the gift that keeps on giving. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know what Neil, I was thinking? Is but, we often talk about our like best show. guests, our best show, mm -hmm. and our worst shows. Mm -hmm. You've done 300 podcasts. Is there the best that you've ever said? Like, 280. 280 TC. 280. Okay, so you've done 280 podcasts. Oh, you want to know the yeah, top is in the top oh, 10? Yeah, oh, have, oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, can we oh. say all the words on here? Yeah, you might sure. have different yeah. perspectives. Right. Well, I see the stats. The numbers, though. Oh, wait, oh. No, wait, wait. Let's start question? with the wait, Let's start with you, what both of you would Opinion consider wise? Uh, your best I know, favorite stats, guest, opinion. your best show. Okay, you do favorites. I'll do stats. Yeah. Okay. You want me to do stats first? Uh, I'll do stats first. Okay. okay. Stats first, everyone. The uh, number okay. one episode that was created. So we are at almost 300 episodes. So this is like three years ago. To this day, is called How to Eat Pussy Like a Champ. <laughs> the number two episode is How to Suck Dick Like a Boss. <laughs> The number three episode has something to do with anal. Number four, also anal. Number five, hand jobs. Number six, also anal. More anal, more anal, more anal. Some threesomes. More dick sucking. More a pussy licking. <laughs> you want to tell 10 or 20? What do you guys want? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Threesomes. All right, okay. Yeah, um, yeah so mostly that. And so, well, it, 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 well the what headline, it's, a, it's well, like a headline saying? grabber, right? <laughs> How to eat pussy. Okay, I'm going to watch that one. <laughs> like, a, like a champ. Watch <laughs> that sounds so good. No, not like that. <laughs> what's your, what's Wait, your number one episode? Um, oh, I, I think know. it might be Steve Cavallaro. Possibly. I don't know. Really? Yeah. What was he doing? Who was the Who was he eating yeah, pussy like a champ? <laughs> he will okay, now. How about the, now let's, let's talk about the worst guest that you've had on the podcast. You oh. left that show and you were like, oh, oh. shit, this guy sucked. We don't, we don't usually do that. Um, I'm going to go with a cricket noise. <laughs> you don't uh, have a worse? The, no, we won't. Yeah, we, no, we, we won't. Have worse. We, we won't. You don't have to name names. Okay, we, we I won't say play something. that game. It had to do. No, no. Okay, we, okay, we won't. We'll, we won't play we'll, that game. What see, we, I, I'm super honest. That's no, no, why I'm no. Not a lawyer. What, what, <laughs> we, what, what we will play because we're shameless sex. We don't shame anyone. We don't yeah. make anyone feel bad, embarrassed no. about nice their one. skills, whether it's public speaking, sex, right. whatever. What we will say is the the most challenging episodes that um, have not done well would be people who are really afraid of getting on a microphone and talking publicly about their sexuality, <laughs> and you're on shameless sex. And also um, authors that just know how to write. There's been a couple, been a couple yet, of people like that. Couple, yeah. couple people like that. We've we've had a number of people like that where they they, they want it. They have the desire. Like, they want it. So so that's a beautiful. We know thing. that category. We, him and I love this, this cat, that category. What you don't know, you don't know people that are afraid of microphones. Yeah, we're not afraid of microphones. No, well, but we've had not. guests who are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we've had guests like, who wouldn't get on the microphone. Right, right, right. Yeah, the, yeah. The, I've I've asked people that I've seen that are phenomenal, uh, like dominatrixes, like who can go in front of a room and like spank the fuck out of twenty people, but they could not get on the microphone. Right, right. And because hmm. it's terrifying to well, them. It's like the, that same as like, it's like we, I've got guys. Well, TC and I got guys that surf the biggest waves, but won't get on the microphone. Right. Yeah. Same we thing. all have our fears, and see, it makes sense. See how much sense. we have in common? I know. <laughs> We're like family, you guys. Oh my We're in the same biz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because we talk about our worst guests. We're, we we, know we don't is. pull any strings. No. We talk about it a bunch. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't well, uh, the other thing about podcasts is we never use names unless they are right. guests. No. And like, well, a guest, we will use names, but we've never once said our partner's names. So, well, we do use social security numbers oh, and yeah. also credit. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Susan and Janice over here. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who's Susan? Me. You are. 
Oh, you'll see. I thought oh. I was. Damn it. Oh. Janice, and, I, I, I was like, Janice, Janice is my mom. No, are there challenges anywhere. with we your partners? Janice. My stripper name is Sam. Are there challenges with your partners? Because I've been at this this show. Has there ever been like situations that have arisen because of you being shameless sex experts? Do you want to start with that? Or do you want me to start with that? Does that ever come up? Like, all right. Well, I'm going to say I don't like putting things out there that are uh, so she's not a manifestation of the future. <laughs> no, we've never had anything that's been anything other than shamelessly awesome. All yeah. right, so uh, what I will say is uh, when we started the podcast... More wine, please, Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> I have more freedom to speak about this because I... I'm running for president 2064, April's everybody look at me. Running for president. And, and, yeah, so and, and, by the way, you should all vote for she's going to change the world. Um, I went, I have had a, a relationship where someone was really supportive of what we do um, when we started this podcast, and you know who I'm talking about, mm-hmm. um, yet couldn't listen to an episode because it was very threatening because that my greatness, what, you know, because it grew very quickly. Within a year, we were like, yeah, what the are, fuck is going on? You we guys had, are big. And yeah. he was threatened this book. It was scary. It was mm. scary. And, and so I had this partner who was like, we've been together for five years. You've never listened to an episode. And um, so that was interesting. Mm-hmm. And But he was super supportive of all the things that like I'm talking to you all about. That's, fu- that's fine. But he was threatened by my greatness. My current partner is just a fanboy, and you're more than a fanboy if you're watching your current partner. What's a fanboy? Um, a fanboy is someone who listened to the podcast before I met you, and you're like... Oh, oh okay. Yeah. We met that guy. Yeah. yeah. yeah the reason yeah. that they, he knew her was because she walked in and said, yeah. Shame of sex. Yeah, he oh. was like... And I was mm-hmm. like, is it the hair or the voice? He's like, it's the voice. I listen to your podcast. Mm-hmm. And I won't get into his whole deep story of his world, but he's super supportive. Um, I have... Not hit any big hurdles related to what we do. Not punch something hard. Mm-hmm. Not going to Neil's cock right now. Knock on that. Put it back. Knock on that. TC took four Viagra, so I arrived. He did it again. Wanted to try out fourth one. Um, and so, yeah, but it's not, I mean, obviously what we do is threatening. Like, I mean, or not threatening. I, actually, I, I take that back. What we do is. Um, revolutionary, it's different, it's edgy, it's fun. and it's super fucking fun. Mm-hmm. It's our favorite thing that we do. Our, the, doing the podcast, like we, I work for Uber, yeah. she works for Hot Octopus. We love this podcast. Right. And you, you know, you've been on the show like, I don't know, half a dozen times. The dating game thing, the yeah. KSEO, and we've always had a blast doing yeah. it. You know? I just would be, like, for your partners, like the first time, he was probably like, oh my god, am I going to rank? You know, like, do I know, do I have the move? Uh, well, the guy, well, so the, the guy that I'm currently with, he already knew about the podcast. We had been around already for two or three, two yeah, years, remember, three years. Yeah. And so he, who was, I was, I mean, he was, it was never, we weren't supposed to fall in love. I was just the hot podcast chick <laughs> and I was just coming out of a heartbreak and I was just trying to have sex with this hot yoga dude. And, well, he does other things besides that. He was um, also like the hot lawyer that would come over in a blue suit and like yeah. fuck the shit out of you. And I was like, that's great. So you're like, <laughs> one day, I was like, oh, one oh, day oh. an attorney, the next day in short shorts and hot yoga. And April, uh, can I speak for just, yeah, that uh, mm-hmm. your experience. I shall, I shall. Uh, give me permission. Yes. Her, so April, I'm going to consent until April's, I will not. April's and experience I'll is beep. more so like something. Okay, so she'll beep if I can't say this. All right, ready? Right, we're ready. Her current experience is that um, when mm-hmm. we started, she started dating someone and they did not know how what they were signing up for because we only had three episodes out. No. And how big it was going to be. Mm-hmm. And it's a big monster. And someone that has children uh-huh. and there are a lot of dynamics that are involved with talking about sex openly. I... It, it, I had to navigate that with ex-wives and 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 mothers of children, and so yeah. coming from a place of I'm not a porn star, I'm not uh, a person that is advocating for anything other than consensual sex. I'm trying to help the world and help your daughters have better pleasure in the future. Right. That was a, a really hard, I think, uh, hurdle to cross. Also. I met my partner because Amy fucked him before me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey. bada bing, bada I, I was like, so I, I was like, you think you, 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 you should have sex? And I was like, I don't think so. I don't need your shrek, your second. She's so, like, no, no. So that's what I'm saying. So you've compared notes? Oh. No. 
<laughs> but no, I, I okay, I only fucked him a couple times, but I was like, you know, it was it was really good, and like you know, it was, it was great, and and, and or cheers, and and I was like, it, yeah, it was great, it's it was fabulous, and he's a lovely man, and you should mm-hmm. like you should have sex with him. You're in this like free lady stage, and I was newly divorced, and right? so yeah. what, what? I just I I'll wrap this up, but just you just you just hey, yeah, pass the buck, just. Hey, and but I want to just wrap. I want to wrap it up with like when he jumped into April's life with mm-hmm. just like I'm just gonna have sex with Amy's friend. Where you're not gonna have sex with Amy. Yeah, and I only thought I was gonna just have a sex with someone that Amy banged it out with that I knew was like good. And, and I was like, then good. And I, I was like, oh, damn it, I like him. A no. year later, you have a huge <laughs> podcast where you're talking to the world about sex every week and about a lot of details. Yeah. And I will say that. It's been it, it causes challenges for a lot of people, and he's handled it very well. And Good April's job. had some fucking name? phenomenal. Comp- right. No, we are, don't use names. Right. No name. And yeah. name is Mr. And, Fabulous. And, and, and April, it's given April the opportunity to have a really wonderful conversation with the young people, mm-hmm. like his, his kids or his, like his kids' friends, Good where job. she can teach them, like teenagers, about sex positivity. And actually, I am so honored to have a partner now after mm-hmm. like so much time has passed with doing this and finding the. I think the rhythm of where I needed to be in my own power mm-hmm. within this mm-hmm. is is important and that he has been such a huge part of that and I'm very grateful for not only him but his like like the teachings that I've learned from his daughters mm-hmm. which which I never knew. I wasn't a person that had children so um, I'm grateful dogs. for it. Right, so you are these dogs, guys yeah. test pilots for these toys? Yes. So the funny thing is I do test my yeah. toys on <laughs> him and he's always like I don't know if I can do that. He is not pro masturbator, oh but he loves the set like this one. Mm-hmm. The okay. Adam Plus fucking loves it, and he's mm. like, "Fuck yeah!" But my my okay. partner was like, "I need to talk to April because my solo essential um, is like not feeling as strong as it used to two years ago." <laughs> and her partner is like the one of my best friends. Out, I love him. By the way, her <laughs> partner like, is like my like I. He's like a brother. He's to like, me. I wake up every morning, I want to bait, and if you're not there, I'm gonna bait, and if you're even if you're there, I'm gonna bait. So he's like more shameless. Like, he's, like he's dying. Can you wear that out? No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you going to sing out at? I'm just saying, Neil, I'm seeing how many miles you'll you get could, out of it. You, you could wear, wear this. It might slip off, though. I mean, GC, I, I, I wouldn't wear... recommend wearing these. No, I'm not here. talking wear it like out in public. Do you want to wear the yeah. dog collar out? Because I have a hot shot collar right here. <laughs> so yeah. so do you have that remote? Do you have that remote control one? Yes, yes, we do. Is that on the on the website? Yes, we do. Okay. Why is it called? I have a friend. Oh, I have a friend. Hang on, hold on a second. You tell me who you need, and I'll send you whatever. He says he has a friend. That means it's him. No, I'm not about that. Either of you need. You can shop. We have a restaurant. We'll take care of you. We're gonna make sure that all your needs. We don't have any shocking products from Hot Octopus. Oh, no. Don't. Although we do at purepleasureshop.com. We, we do have shocking yeah, products, but you, they don't make those. You do you want to try the dog color? No, Just thank you. Okay. Can, <laughs> we, can we come on your show? Yeah. Will you invite us on to your but, show? Yes, but you have to get really clear on how shamelessly, because we're not just going to fuck around with you. We I need know. to hear all of your deepest, darkest secrets. Fine. And we're gonna get we're gonna deep. get deep and like deep. I mean it's fun. You might cry, yeah, <laughs> and you might you will rejoice. cry. Yeah. When, when we when we tell Neil stories, Neil cry. <laughs> when we have everyday humans on our show, and you guys are more than that, it yeah. means that y'all gonna come and tell your stories about how hard sex and relationships have been throughout your life. Got it. And then we we'll need have full you. honesty mm. and disclosure, yeah. right. and we won't make you sign well, yeah, a non disclosure agreement. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <fine>. yeah, <laughs> oh, but TC, just so you know, you told us a lot of. I think, but I know he got some darkness. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's, got, yeah. he's, he's got the baggage. Yeah, we will find your baggage, and we will love it. We both do. Well, I met my wife when I was like eighteen. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And how old are you now? Fifty-nine. Oh, damn. Yeah. Are you going to be Fuck. 60 this year or next year? No, I just turned 59 last okay, week. Okay, okay. Yeah. Last yeah. week? Hey, she'll Happy tell you. When, yeah. they, when, they, when they go on drives, like long drives, wherever, right? Oregon, mm. wherever. wherever. They tell Neil stories. Oh but yeah, we talk about Neil. They don't tell the stereo one. They just yeah. tell Neil stories. They, well, they live vicariously through me. Well, Neil. Um, yeah. Neil <laughs> likes to play the field. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I do not play the field. <laughs> what, what field? Is this so, you banging a, a lot a, of It's a big chicks? world, Neil. What are you talking about? So how do you meet these chick? How do you meet chicks? Yeah. What shit? What? Neil, what shit? how many girls have you dated since I met you? Oh, a couple. 
Is that like three? Oh, you yes, can't yes. even Can you see be more specific, please? <laughs> you can't go on our show until you're honest, Neil. You're extra sober right now, bro. I'll tell you what, let me, count, let me think about that. I'll count them for you. All right, okay. so you got, when you want to come on our show, we need you to sign this document that says how many chicks you've banged since you started the podcast. Oh, my goodness. And I want to know all, I want to also know, like, the in-depth details about, like, all the techniques and all the things that you did. There. How I don't think, I mean, you don't need to do that. I just want, I want to hear from you. She just wants to know for her own personal sake. Right. So. <laughs> Neil, you cracked me up. You, too I funny. swear. <laughs> you cracked me up. You just turned so red. That's <laughs> <No. laughs> red wine. Well, then you're a little sunburned, too. Yeah. Well, then you're a little sunburned, but he's also very excited about this hot Oh, Neil, you tonight? I cannot be tonight. It's oh, yeah. happening. It is happening. So, oh. 300, almost 300 podcasts. Yeah. How long is this shameless sex podcast going to go on? Forever. Forever. <laughs> okay. And, and I just watched the, a Sandlot yesterday on the airplane back to Mexico. Love it. The book. The, the book. Let's talk about the book. You're writing a book together. You're yes, co-authoring this book. Yes, we is are. it called the Shameless Sex? It's called. Book? The, Mine is remove the the because Shameless Sex we own, motherfuckers. Go Trademark. Okay. We don't Trademark. sex. We don't shameless. We own shameless. Sex. Yeah, we shameless sex the fuck out of trademarking, and it's going to be called <laughs> Shameless Sex: A Guide to Sex and Relationships. We haven't. Well, it's a working, working title. title might change. Yes, it might. Mm. It might be called Neil. <laughs> and all this might be called We How Love Neil. How far along are we on this project? <laughs> We are. Woo! We're far. We we're, are. That's far. why we're gonna go <laughs> soon. Our publishers are listening. <laughs> we are far. We need to go finish writing our book. We have a couple chapters left we to do, write. We, we have do. a month deadline for the manuscript, and, and we are it won't finishing be out for a year. So and we're talking like summer 2023. We will. We'll be. We'll be back. And One last back. time. Twenty percent discount. We're at the website. We no website. Nope. Website. Website. Pure pleasure shop. <laughs> Someone. Okay, you Dot. do it. No, okay, you do it. Um, no. You want to be funny. The website is I'm funny. Pure pleasure shop. Pure pleasure shop dot com. And what's the discount code? I don't remember. I'm just kidding. Twenty percent off with code. We love Neil. And that's N E I L. And how many products are on that website? Five million. Dollars. Five million. No, <laughs> so some people should go. Two. I, mean, I don't have. I cannot answer that. But it's but because because it's filtered by um, body friendly products. Wait, it's it's probably that a is thousand? something good to say. So Amy curates and her mother curate all of the products to be the most body friendly, high end. Also, there's a, for price sensitive folks all price ranges. So you're not getting something that's garbage with the phthalates with the things mm-hmm. that are bad for you. So when you go to Pure Pleasure, and that's something that I only learned when I started working there in 2008. That there were shit that you could put in your body that weren't that weren't right. be, wouldn't be good for you. Right. So they only have like the I, I believe like the best of the best of the best. You curate an experience. Mm. Like I'm, a I'm a curator. I'm a curator. When you got me, little boy, baby, I love. Would you like me to curate your dildo? Yes, I would, because <laughs> I already did. Or maybe your <laughs> penis <laughs> toys. <laughs> So I love it. Oh, oh, I don't do cheerio. Cheerio. Oh, cheerio. I don't do cheerio for now, mate. <laughs> Neil wants to go home and try out that toy, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. You so, ready? No, you do. Oh, I know. No, oh, I know. Right yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Don't, this thing. don't blame it on Neil. We this know is what the Adam, the Adam Bomb? Is that Come what this on. one is? The Atom Plus. The Adam Bomb? Plus. You yeah. know. Oh, I'll be an Adam Bomb later. The yeah. Adam Bomb, right there. I nicknamed it. Oh, shit, there's children outside. Okay, uh, Neil. Yeah. Are you gonna try yours out tonight? Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna try yeah, mine too. Okay. Uh, we'll have, we'll, we'll, yeah, we will have a group talk about this and let us know how things go. Yeah, the donut shop. That's different yeah. than an orgy, everyone. It's just a, it's a talk, okay? Conversation over coffee. Hopefully, uh, my wife's not listening. Cheerio. Right? Or cheerio. Yeah. Cheerio. Bye. Cheerio. Thanks.